How's it going? My name is Sai. The reaction you're about to watch was recorded over on Twitch.tv. Uh, every Friday I have a stream there. People bring in music, and that is where I get all my reactions from. So if you're wanting a reaction done, that is the place to get it done, and guaranteed, more or less. Um, other than that, please enjoy. So this band emailed me. I have, I have had three bands email me now, but this one was the most interesting by far for my channel. Um, so basically... These guys are a Japanese metal band. Uh, they dropped names like Soil Work in Flames um, in there. So that got my interest. Also, I guess the bassist used to tour with Crystal Lake. So that's fucking cool also. And they wanted me to check this out. The single just dropped today. So if you guys like it, be sure to go check it out. You can see the name up above my head here. Any Justin Bonnets since the Dear Rudolf reaction? Um, no, no, not yet. We have two, the two remaining albums are on my list. Okay, I see what they were saying immediately with like the guitar led old school metalcore sound. For sure. Bumps a tiny bit? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, he got the lows. Let's go. He, he said, Grr. Yeah, bring on those headbangs, let's go. That's a very glitchy fucking breakdown there, alright. I'm here for it. Getting pretty with it, okay. Very classic metalcore, but the EP was from 2011, so it does it does kind of make sense. The original was. Hey, you put the nick up with me. All right, I see you mingling, friend. I'm okay with it. Nick's a cool guy. Not really feeling this. That's fine. Different strokes for different folks. I just like the kind of stripped down sound of it, honestly. Very, very vintage metalcore. They didn't tamper with it much. I like that guitar. Um, so anyhow, yeah, I liked it. It was very traditional. There's not a whole lot to say about that. It was just the sound of it was very much old school metalcore. Um, it was a pretty, it was a pretty chilled out mix. Um, there wasn't a whole lot going on. It was very raw mix. Um, 
Everything is very raw. Uh, however, keeping in mind, they are definitely probably doing that on purpose because this is, again, a decade-old song. So I'm actually kind of curious to hear what they would sound like writing a song nowadays instead and all that good stuff. So I definitely see why they dropped the bands they did. On the other hand, I don't I don't feel like it was like super over the top unique, but it didn't really have to be. It was enjoyable. I liked it. It's kind of nice to hear that sound because not a whole lot of people do it anymore. So it's nice to hear a modern band kind of sticking with that sound. I do want to hear a newer song by them instead though, for sure. Um, and that's my hot take on the matter, really.